Hello. Are you here for the census? I've never seen so many people all in one place. All these people in Bethlehem. It's so exciting. Oh, did you see that in the sky? It's so bright, it's sparkling. I think I saw angels in the sky. Did you see them too? My mom doesn't like me out after sunset. But I forgot all about time seeing all those people. So many people in our little town. And they came from so many different places. All from our forefather, David. I was so excited to see them. I wanted to talk to them. The sun had set and I should have gone home. But I saw this lady sitting on a donkey. It seemed like she was sick. Her husband was leading the donkey towards the east edge of town. Something just made me want to follow them. The lady was crying like she was in pain. Eventually, the husband saw me following them. And he asked me how far the inn was at the east edge of town. Follow me, I said. I know a shortcut. We got there pretty quick, but when they talked to Mr. Josiah, the innkeeper, he told them all the rooms were full. Mr. Josiah, I said, the lady is very sick. Can you find some space for her somewhere? Mr. Josiah looked at the lady and he could tell what was wrong. I am sorry, he said, but there's no space inside. But you may use the stable down below. The husband helped his wife off the donkey and he laid her down on the straw. I was felt afraid for her. Just then, she let out a loud cry, and I thought she was going to die. The husband looked at me and said, Do you know a midwife? Go and bring her here as quickly as you can. A midwife? I knew what a midwife was for. This lady was going to have a baby. I ran as fast as I could to the one who lives in our home in Bethlehem. My dad and I go fishing with her husband sometimes. I told her she needed to follow me. We got there pretty quick. When we got back to the stable, I wanted to stay. I had never seen a baby come into the world, but the midwife shooed me away. So I ran home because by now it was very dark and my parents would be worried and I would be in trouble. My mom is always telling me that Satan tempts me to do things I shouldn't do, and I should just tell him to get behind me. But I don't think it was Satan tempting me that night. I think something very special happened, and there's something special about those people as well. I don't even know who they were or what happened to them. I sure hope I get to see that baby someday. I wonder what his name is.